What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, the D100 is back on the ground. Yesterday, I actually had the opportunity to use this thing as its intended purpose. I actually was able to run, make a run to the hardware store, grab a few things for some projects around here. And that little trip pointed out something that I kind of over looked. So pretty much the entire time that I've had this truck, it's been here in the garage. I mean, hell, I didn't have an engine for a year. This thing was up on stands, getting all kinds of stuff done to it. And so it never really left the garage pretty much the entire time I've had it. And when it, when I did finally get it back on the road, I really only took it out for some test drives. I didn't really go anywhere. Well, yesterday, like I said, I went to the hardware store, pulled up, parked it, Locked everything up, ran inside, got what I needed, came out. Apparently, I didn't have the key for the locks. Luckily, my back window doesn't close all the way, so I was able to open that up, reach in, and unlock the passenger's door, and get in. So that's gonna be today's project placing the locks. So I made a run this morning to my local O'Reilly's and picked up a set of locks. So first thing to do obviously is gain access to the inside of the door. And that's gonna mean removing your, your window crank, door handle, door pull, and your armrest, door handle, whatever. And then all the screws that hold the panel on. So let's do that. So once you get access to the inside of the door, the cylinder, the lock cylinder actually goes, it's actually right inside there, right there. So it's kind of a pain to get to, but it's not really all that bad. It's just the window track right here. It's kind of in the way. So your lock cylinder here, let's see if I can get this thing to focus, there we go is held in place with one of these clips. And it's just with the lock in the door, this clip comes up and wedges it into place. So we gotta remove this clip. Unfortunately, there's really no way to get a good look inside the door, uh, but I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and just wedge it underneath the clip and pry it down off of the lock cylinder. Taking my time, working it back and forth. Clip is out. Hoodie is hung up on the door regulator. Now the lock can slide out the front, but there's a the rod that goes down to the, the catch here. That is on the back of the switch, or back of the cylinder. So we've got to kind of rotate it. Now there is a an E-clip back here. Uh, I'm gonna to try to do this without removing. So there's this E-clip here on the back. So I'm gonna to try to remove the rod from this hole without pulling that, that E-clip off. Actually, I could do it. I can disconnect the rod from the door latch. I'm gonna pop the rod out of the catch and then take the whole thing on out and reinstall it back in the door. Might help if I put the rod on facing the right way. With the rod snapped back into the uh, 
door latch. I can now make sure I got the lock cylinder orientated the right way in the door. Then I can install the clip. And that's really it. One thing I did forget to mention is there's this little focus, come on. This little gasket here that goes just over the back of the lock cylinder and that gets sandwiched between the face of the cylinder and the door. But other than that, really simple, really quick project for obviously something that gets overlooked. I don't know if I lost the key or if I just never had one. I, I don't know. But obviously this is something that uh, I overlooked. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you on the next one.